Hello friends, my name is Harshal Kakde. Today we are going to discuss about language fundamentals. This session will help all manual testers to start their journey with automation. I know most of the manual testers are of fear, they don't know language, then how to start. William, it's very easy. So I'll be starting with very basic so that it will help them to get started. Okay, before I can uh, go ahead, I would, like, I would like to request you all, please like and subscribe the channel so that it will motivate me to bring new videos and it will help you all. Okay, so let's start. So in general, there are uh, 10 types of language fundamentals. So we're starting with very basic. The first one is identifiers, then reserve words, data types, literals, arrays, types of variables, var arg methods, main method, command line argument, and Java coding standards. Okay. Today's session, we are going to cover about identifiers. So what is identifier, basically? Say, as the name suggests, the name given to anything like class, method, variable, and label in Java is nothing but the identifiers. To give an example of layman language, so if you are sitting in a class and if we need to identify any student, we have student names. So student name is nothing but the identifier like Ravi or Arjun, Akshay, whatever the name. So it will identify that student. Okay. So let's take an example of the Java class and let's try and figure out what are the identifiers used in this Java class. Okay, so this is very basic Java class. Uh, I'm not doing any actions. It just, I'm just declaring a sample Java class and a simple variable. So if you take an example, this test, this main, this string, this ARGS and this num are nothing but the identifiers. Okay, test is nothing but class name given to that identifier main is a method method is also identifier this string string is a predefined class so it's also an identifier then arguments is nothing but the variable name of the type array and this int num num is nothing but again a variable name so there are five u identifiers in this small Code, code snippet okay next so then there are some naming conventions or we can say rules for identifiers so if you have to consider what are the characters allowed in identifiers so the characters allowed are nothing but small a to z then capital a to z numbers from 0 to 9 then a sp special symbol of dollar and an underscore so these are the only allowed characters you can use while while naming your identifier for example if you have created a variable with an identifier name as total underscore num which is a valid identifier but if you are using hash into it it's an unvalid identifier and the code is going to give you a co compile time error so the next one then as i said there are some naming conventions although this one two three four underscore num are allowed characters but you are not supposed to start your identifier name with the number so that's why it is also not allowed okay next one. then if you are writing your identifier name with the case sensitive static that is like all small then first letter capital and then all capitals it is allowed because java identifiers are case sensitive or we can say altogether java language is a case sensitive language so this is perfectly fine and it is not going to give any error to you then so is there any limit of the length you can use for your identifier so as per java there is no length limit for java identifiers you can keep 
your, your identifier name as long as you want but it is recommended obviously it is recommended to not to use lengthy it's not recommended to use lengthy identifiers because if you are using lengthy identifiers it is going to create a very bad code standards and which is not a good practice then there is one more rule we can say so you cannot use reserve words in as a identifier that means reserve words are not allowed to be used as identifiers if is if int are nothing but reserve words in java we are going to discuss about what are reserve words uh, in our latter um, sessions but for now you can keep in mind that reserve words are not allowed to be used as identifiers but you can use the predefined class name and uh, interface names as identif identifiers for example string is nothing but a class name runnable is a interface name you can definitely use int string equals to 10 int runnable equals to 10 which is allowed there will be no errors in java however this is not at all recommended this is also um, this will also falls as a bad practice or uh, bad coding standard so uh, i will recommend not not to use uh, the string names predefined string uh, predefined class name and predefined interface name as your identifier uh, That's it for today guys. Uh, if you have any questions uh, Please um, leave them in comment section. I will try to answer those and keep uh, Keep following the channel we are coming we are coming up with new videos new sessions and that will be uh, very helpful I guess to you Thanks. Bye for now. Bye-bye.